Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to another video. We are here at Al Hira Beach in Sharjah. See these little buggies over here? They have little um, activities for children and the family. Um, I'm not sure how much these cost. Let me see. These little nice trees. I think it is be right and know your rights. Okay. I can't see where the price is. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. 50 dirham for one bike. How much time do you get? 30 minutes. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, 20 dirham for 20 minutes. Sports, sports bike. The family bike is 70 dirham, 45 minutes. Twin bike, 55 dirhams for 45 minutes. And a single bike is 40 dirham for 45 minutes. Okay, that's not bad. So, you guys could, uh, you know the prices when you come down. Um, if you like to get on those buggies. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. I had a sister who came to visit. And um, we went out. And um, for like a buyer shopping and things like that. And she was telling me that some of the taxi drivers and different people who were not in Marathi were, you know, telling her negative things about the country. Like for example, the taxi drivers were complaining about different laws and how they get penalized for certain things, but the Emiratis, they don't. You know, they, they, as long as you are Emirati, then things are discounted for you. If you run a red light, then the, the, the fine is discounted and all this kind of stuff. Um, they, they're complainers, right? Probably from India, Bangladesh, or, um, yeah, England, India, Bangladesh, or even Pakistan. And it's usually the ones who, they don't really, you know, they don't know uh, maybe how to maneuver in here and pull themselves up. So if they're miserable, then they're going to complain to everybody. And, they, and sometimes they lie. They pass down information that's not accurate. And um, they want you to say, oh, poor you, right? Of course, I'm not prejudiced against Pakistanis. No, this is an issue of complainers. Um, there are Americans who complain as well. I, I would say the same thing about them. It doesn't matter, but I'm just, for context, I'm letting you know that you're gonna run into this kind of thing with foreigners. Okay, so taxi drivers, um, maybe labor workers, and also, who else? People who, are, who, who don't really have uh, jobs that pay a lot of money due to different circumstances due to their skill level they they have to take low paying jobs so anyway we went shopping at a buyer center and uh, we stopped by an oil counter and there was a Yemeni sister there serving oil selling the oils so she's talking to us and you know giving us samples of the oils that we may want to buy and things like that and then she started to talk about how she of course she went she was surprised that we were american and she was like oh okay uh yeah i want to go to america no she said her brother's in america yeah and she's going to be leaving the uae she's tired of this country and i'm like okay she's like filling us up with false information things like um yeah my brother's in america and he said that you know, it's wonderful, it's much better than here. The people help you, you know? And then she says, if you die in the street here, nobody will help you. I'm looking at her like, I live here. 
I live here. I said, that's not true. That's not true. I'm looking at the sister and I'm like, oh, I'll talk to you after we leave this counter. But I'm, I'm letting the sister, the Yemeni sister talk. You know, they, they, won't, they won't help you. And, you know, education is just too expensive. And she was, she was 18, come to find out. She learned English on her own, mashallah, just through, you know, working um, and uh, dealing with customers and things like that. So that was pretty amazing. But she said she had only gone to school up to grade five. And when she told me she was 18, it put everything in perspective about what she was saying regarding schools being too expensive, even the Arabic schools are 25,000 dirhams a year. And I'm like, that's not true. I said, my children were being registered at these schools. And I said, high school maximum for 12th grade is 16,000. That's the more expensive schools. So she's looking at me like, oh, oh, I don't care. I don't care. I just, I'm finished with this country. I just want to go. I said, where are you trying to go? Canada? She was like, ha, ha, are you reading my mind? How do you know where I'm going? I'm like, because that's where y'all go. You go to UK, you go to Canada, you go somewhere in Europe, you go to the United States. It's not that hard. It's not that difficult to guess where you maybe want to go. So she's like, yeah, I'm not finished with this country. So once, once she told me how old she was, I said, okay, her parents told her, and she's working at an oil counter, and she's been, Allah knows best how long she's been at that oil counter. Who knows? She probably had to work in order to help her family, you know? And um, she applied to go to Canada so she can go to school there, I guess. So she'll be leaving whenever, I don't know. But everybody thinks that the West is better. Those people who have poor situations, they're, they are at disadvantages wherever they are. They want to, you know, pursue greener pastures, which I understand. But to lie and to exasperate details of a country that you live in to others that are coming here is wrong. You know, it's wrong. You're projecting. This is your reality. This is not ours. That's just why the same reason why I stopped speaking against America the way that I was trying to warn the Muslims not to go for the reasons that I left but I'm a native so my world is different from the foreigners world because the sister that was with me started to try to warn the Yemeni sister about the West oh no you don't want to go to America she was like what no America is great <laughs> I'm like don't even do it it's pointless because they are never going to see things the way we do ever they're going in a different world they're they're going to their communities um we suffer differently than they would ever know so leave them alone and let them find out they won't find out until they have children and then the children break away and the children may all keep them guided but this is just inevitably what happens a lot they start to have two faces and adopt different ideologies and become more distant from their culture because that's just what America that's what the West does you know you go you go into a place where the parents don't know the culture the children are left to fend for themselves and figure things out and make a choice and conform and the parents are clueless about what's happening with the children so I'm like leave her alone don't say anything. I don't try to warn them anymore because their reality won't be the reality that we were leaving. So they'll learn. They have to learn the hard way, unfortunately. But um, just leave them. But I just want to make you guys aware that when you come, if you already have biases, then talking to the foreigners are going to reinforce those biases. You're going to have people who say they love this, this country, those who have had a more positive experience and then you will have those who are going to talk nonsense um, because they're negative and you can't take their word for it especially if you're trying to be positive about the country talk to people who are positive and see this country in a positive light not those who you don't know what their situation is and why they're coming to the conclusion that they're coming to 
um, that's going to be discouraging and make you want to leave. But you can't, you can't take their word for it. That's all I'm saying. So, um, yeah, just be aware. It's important to be aware of that. They're negative. And everybody who comes here and I speak to them, they're like, yeah, why? Wait a minute. Why, is, uh, why am I getting so many conflicting stories? And why am I getting so many negative comments? And, oh, why would you come to Dubai? Why would you come here to the UAE? This country is terrible. This country is horrible. I was like, well, that's probably just a test for you. You know, Allah is testing you. Um, and you have to overcome that. You, you, Do you really want to be here? You have to find reasons to want to be here, and you have to drown out negative people because there are negative people everywhere. I mean, you know, your risk, your provisions is everywhere on the earth. It depends on what you want. So, um, I'm here. I don't care what anyone says. Alhamdulillah, it's khair everywhere. Everywhere you go, you find khair. So, it depends on what you make of it and where you want to be. Um, so yeah, that's what I wanted to, oh, this is going to be a skate park, by the way, I forgot. It's a long stretch of construction that's happening, and this is going to be one of the largest skate parks, outdoor skate parks on the beach. The Sharjah, the Sharjah government, along with, I think it's a German uh, skate expert, I don't know what to call him. But he's he is in partnership with the with the Sharjah Sports and Tourism or something like that authority, and they coming up with this skate park. There's also going to be shops that you you know can dine in things like that. So they're really really fixing up this uh, this beach and making it a tourist attraction which is so nice because it's a little carnival down here on the corniche as well that um everyone can enjoy there's a lot of there's a few hotels on this strip and there's neighborhoods across the street so yeah come on down to Hira beach and um yeah just be positive and, and drown out any negativity thanks for tuning in and I will see you all in the next video. Inshallah. Don't forget the Hijra mandate sacrifice. My salama.